you've really already been incredibly busy with 2024 and deep fakes, whether it's a voice of Biden or whether it's fake pornography involving Taylor Swift. And there's just no regulation for it. Certainly, January was the month of deep fake AI videos on social media on the heels of the Taylor Swift explicit images going viral on X last week. We really got to see kind of the the slow nature of chasing and taking down some of these images and videos on social now that these tools, these AI tools are really cheap and easy to get their hands on. That Taylor Swift debacle on Wednesday was just days after robocalls of Biden went out to New Hampshire voters. They were obviously fake and they were urging voters to hold their votes and not go to the polls, uh, which is not how the election works here in the state. So we are starting to see kind of the real implications. Those of us in the tech industry, we've been seeing this happen across the internet, but this past month, it seems seems like the public is really uh, getting to see some high profile examples of what happens when AI hits social media with bad actors trying to put out either fake or damaging information. Alex, let's look ahead to Wednesday. What is the aim of this committee hearing? What does DC want to get out of it? Well, the CEOs of Meta, X, Discord, TikTok, and Snap will be at the Senate Judiciary Committee on a hearing focusing on child safety. Now, just before this hearing last week, Snap was the first tech company to actually come out uh, in support of the Kids Online Safety Act, which would put in regulations to protect, to protect kids online. But this is not my first hearing, and I can tell you guys, I bet there will be questions that are outside of just kids' safety as well. TikTok exactly. and its Chinese parent owner um, always is a hot button issue, so we might might see some questions directed to the CEO of TikTok's way around China and data protection. And also, guys, after this deep fake debacle on X, I would expect X CEO Linda Yaccarino to get some very pointed questions, particularly around why some of these posts got 47 million views and took almost a day to take down.